don't know. It's funny because I look back and I'm like, what were the points that lead you to where you are? When I probably could have gotten a decent job at the time, like I just done an internship at a geologic consulting firm, which is my degree was in geology. I could have probably gotten a decent job and I just was like, I want to be in the mountains. I want to ski. And I don't even know, looking back, I don't know what, it was one of those decisions that you don't really think about, you just do. I feel really fortunate. I grew up in Seattle, just south of Seattle. My parents are super awesome, and they were just really into being outdoors. We'd ski every weekend in the winter. Did good in school, was a ski racer, but not a very good ski racer. And then I went to college and got better at ski racing and worse at school. I went to Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington, and that was a really awesome experience, ski race there, and just was like, I wanna do something with my life that's outside and in the mountains, and I'm not quite ready for a desk job yet. And moved to Squaw Valley just because I kinda wanted to challenge myself and move somewhere I didn't really know anyone which now I'm like, why would I do that? That seems insane. Jim's awesome because he always likes to make a game of stuff and never let things be boring. So we always have little games going on. He's my favorite ski partner. Um, we like to mountain bike. We like to run. We love to garden, be outside. He never, he would never get into cold water before when we first started dating and now he loves it. We like to hang out with friends and family and... <laughs> Not even because it's so recent, but definitely having a daughter, having a baby with Jim is one of those things where it just felt like everything in my life had been working up towards that. And I was never the person that like was, always wanted to have a kid, you know, I never, I was too busy skiing and traveling and was like, oh, maybe that'll happen someday. I kind of want that, but I'm not sure if it'll work out. And then meeting Jim and just finding the right person and those decisions where you just kind of follow your heart and don't overthink it, I think those have been the best. Because this right here, you know, with Jim and Betty and Bud Man, it's like, for me, it doesn't get any better than this. and. The decision is just so easy, you don't have to think too much about it.